today I thought we'd take a look at uh, the computer, actually. Um, earlier in the year, I guess a few months ago, uh, something went wrong, and my computer was just not wanting to work. It was, uh, it was harsh. So, uh, I refreshed it. Uh, I'm sure if you've been producing or even just been living for a while, uh, you've had to refresh your computer, fresh start, fresh OS, no programs, and reinstall everything, uh, which is something I did a few months ago. But I learned something or remembered something, one of the two. I don't think I've ever done this for since I've been making beats and stuff, but when you install like a VST, you can install the content on an external drive. So the VST lives on your OS, your computer, but the sounds for that VST lives on a hard drive externally. Um, I'm using old technology. I don't have an SSD, but I'm assuming this would be even faster with an SSD. But what I did is uh, some some programs, when you install them, they give you the option to install this the sound content uh, in another folder or somewhere on your computer and you just want to direct it to your external drive you want to organize that in a way that makes sense to you and your system i'm not able to do i I think i wasn't able to do all of all of my sound content on the external but most of it did make it to the external and i notice now uh when i start up machine or something it's scan is like like so much faster and uh, it only takes time to load sounds when you're loading sounds. So it, it doesn't take 20 minutes to scan or 15 minutes or 10 minutes. It's just a more speedy system. So now I have more system resources on the on the computer for recording vocals and videos and stuff like that. Because it's, uh, it's not pulling drums and, and synthesizers from the internal hard drive while you're trying to record video on the hard drive while you're recording audio on the hard drive. It's just a lot for it to take. So I noticed that this improved performance, not only save you space on your main computer, but perform better. I'm going to dive in and show you how to do it in native instruments in particular. It's uh, really handy for them because I got a lot of their stuff. We'll be back. Peace. All right. So we're back in native access. Uh, this is where you install all your native instrument stuff. Um, I have a lot of expansions, a lot of a lot of stuff from Native Instruments, and it would take up a whole lot. I see why when you buy complete, they offer uh, external hard drive for it. So this is a way to kind of do it your your own custom hard drive, basically, because you don't have to buy complete. We want like I don't have that kind of money. So uh, if you just want to get bit by bit, just the pieces that you want, uh, you can still have the the content on an external drive while the the programs are actually on the computer. So what you want to do is go up here, top right corner, preferences, and you have your choices. You have your file locations. So your download location, your application would be, you know, your C drive, your OS, and your content would be where you hit browse, an external hard drive, which I called Dope Snare. It's in uh, right here in this folder, it says Native Instruments Content. I've already done this, but here's all my stuff. It's nice. I'll just cancel that. And that's that's really all there is to it. If you're familiar with loading or installing a VST, a lot of times it'll just be the installer like every other installer. But it, it will still give you the option to do like, what, easy or custom or express or whatever. I guess if you want to tweak it and have the content on an external hard drive, you would want to do a custom install. Therefore, you would pick your program to be on your computer and the sound library to be on the external hard drive. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Uh, it helped me. It improved the performance of my computer and saved some space as, at the same time. I think it's a hack. It's a, it's a good thing. Uh, obviously, you, these VSTs could come with, you know, 30 gigabytes, 50 gigabytes, 100 gigabytes of sound content, and you don't want that on your computer necessarily while it's trying to do all kinds of things at once. Plus, bring up those files off the hard drive while you're trying to record to the hard drive. Imagine imagine you got a session going. There's VSTs, there's plugins, there's samples, there's and you're recording vocal tracks and all this stuff. And, and it's all, you know, simultaneously trying to read from the hard drive and write to the hard drive and, and pull up all these things. And that's what causes performance issues. I notice uh, you get more bang for your buck on, on your computer when you do it this way. That's my babble and rant on that. I hope it's helpful. It was helpful to me. You guys have a good Christmas and Happy New Year. God bless. Bye.